So welcome back to another episode, and welcome back to another Vic. <laughs> and you know what? We were having so much fun reviewing movies together and reviewing games. We thought we'd review Doom, the satanic game of the century. Doom. Doom is a terrifying game. Yeah. Hashtag too satanic. And too satanic. Absolutely. That's, that's right, yes. Now, how does this game, and everybody wants to know this, how does this game live up to the 2016 version of the PS4, the PC, and the Xbox version? Well, I want to go back for a second and yeah. say the very first time I saw Doom was at my friend's PC. Yeah. Uh, he had it playing. He invited me over, and I'm like, Oh my God, this is way too satanic. No, yeah. I was like, this is incredible. I was like, I want to become a PC gamer. I was so jealous of that experience. And then I finally played a Doom again in 2006. Yeah. And then I played the 2016 version and I was, no pun intended, blown away. It blew my expectations. It was an incredible version of Doom. What a franchise though, right? Yes. I mean, it's had a lot of permutations. There's been sequels, there's been deviations on the, on the format. But they're all pretty good games. But I think what was really shocking was how fantastic Doom was last year. It blew my mind. I reviewed it and was raving about it. And yeah. I, I heard from people that were like, oh my god, you're making me want to go out and play it. I didn't find anybody who disliked the game, you know? And it has something for everybody. Yes. Big guns, demons, yes. destruction, blood and guts. Not it's worrying wonderful. about uh, zooming in, really. You yeah. don't really have to think about you know down the sights. And you don't have to think about reloads. You just basically run, run and gun. gun. Yeah, and you pick up a chainsaw along the way and everybody goes into little bits and and splatters all over the screen and, and we it's... smile and applaud <laughs> and laugh and we're having the best time and of our lives you can grab a demon by the face and rip its head apart by your bare hands <laughs> with your mother watching to <laughs> please <laughs> her she's and, absolutely thrilled with and this. now on the nintendo switch you can do it on the bus and everybody that's around you is like horrified but it it actually is pretty damn incredible to see this level of game design yeah. in a first person shooter on a handheld screen, and I think it's absolutely phenomenal, the port job that's done here, I think by a company named Panic, Panic Button. Button yeah. I've never really heard of these guys. But they've done a great, great job conversion. of making it portable. And that yeah, blows and my mind that all of the Doom experience is sitting right there in the palms of your hands. And I, and I think that's what we want to say to all Switch owners. Yeah. If you don't have a copy of Doom, yes. you've not played it, this generation or last, yeah. I'm telling you, get this version for the portability. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it looks okay in the screen. we got to talk about the graphics for a second because everybody was going to want to know yeah. about the graphics. Yeah. They're kind of muddy. Yeah. They're kind of blurry, but they pull it off. It's a competent port. Yes. But when it's portable, that's when this game is shining. Yes, you know, it really blasts the off the screen it and does. you're like, holy crap, I have all of this functionality. I can move super fast. It feels like the frame rate jumps and I don't know if it's the illusion of being in a portable space. Because smaller, yeah. yeah. But the frame rate does seem uh, better. better and it seems choppier when it's on the television it screen. Does. And this is a game that screams out for 60 frames per second, just liquidy smooth. And we've played it that way already, many of us yes, anyways. Of a lot of Nintendo fans haven't though. You know, if they're strictly Nintendo aficionado, and I just think it's an incredible experiment on Bethesda's part, on id's part, yeah. and on Nintendo's part to go out and say, let's bring this game to this platform. Well, it, I think that's why this is such a hyped game. Is yes. that we get the most bloodiest fucking shooter game yeah. on the Switch. Right. Right? A game, and like a system, everybody's like, oh, it's a Nintendo happy system yeah. for Mario yes. and for Zelda and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, they just shove this in your face. Yeah. And it, you got to applaud the effort. Yeah, and, I, and it's clearly a message saying, no, this is a, a system that can play anything that you want to throw at it and it's ripe for mature content you know we're going to get L.A. Noir and some other and Skyrim and some other yeah we need some more combats and they're ripping off heads but you know, it, for sure. it's just it's fun on multiple levels like the game succeeds the design succeeds even if you take the frame rate hit even if the graphics are the a little control muddier succeed. the controls succeed it's still super addictive doesn't matter how you kind of approach this game it's just great design yes you can get a better presentation elsewhere uh, for well, of sure, course. that's but, not, you know that is not even debatable. But you can't take it with you elsewhere. No, and you can't take this core experience. So I think that there's actually an attraction for the Doom super fans that want to challenge themselves. That has the arcade mode built into it too, which allows you to jump. I was jump. playing a lot of that. Yeah, it's super cool, right? Yeah. You can jump to any level that you want, and you're just challenged yeah, by score, score yeah. right? And you're fighting these uh, these these parademons, or I don't even know what they're called, these doom demons, and the big giant floating faces yeah, and yeah, heads, yeah, yeah, and, the, yeah. and the, you know. Too satanic. It's so crazy, yeah. and it's amazing. Like, the, the way that they kind of modeled all of this Mars station, and That's then you wonderful. go down to the portals of hell, and you, you really, are transported in this game. It, it's, scre it's screaming by you super fast, just by the nature of the design, but it's so fun. It's 
fun, right? And that's, and that's what yes. this review has to come down to. Yeah. Is this game fun? It is fun. Yeah. It's not going to be the graphical powerhouse of no. the Xbox One X no. or the PS4 or, God forbid, the fucking PC version. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not that. And, know that going in. And all of the, you know, the, the, the hardcores on those platforms, the, the people that game in 4K, they're going to be looking down their noses at the Nintendo I, and, you Switch know, and version. And that's what I was thinking when I was playing this yeah. game. But it, you're right. And this is what we're going to say again. Yeah. As soon as you take it out of the dock and you're walking around yeah. playing Doom. When you're on an airplane. You on know. an airplane, but you're on Mars. Yeah. And you're attacking <laughs> demons, ripping off their faces, <laughs> shooting them into uh, pieces. Uh, and talk about a cathartic thing when you're I on know. the way back home from a terrible day at work. Right? <laughs> Fuck everybody. You got reamed out by your boss and you're sitting yeah. on, the com on the train commuting home. Yeah. Just killing Blood demons. Blood vessel is popping. You're like, <laughs> Fuck, oh, yeah. And that, that's what this kind of game is for. It's yeah. It's port the portability is the selling feature. Absolutely. And that means that you're going to have to deal with, uh, you know, not necessarily being connected online and playing the multiplayer. But this is, had never really been a, a game that, that, that sh uh, this particular version of Doom, there's been previous Doom games that, you know, at, people crowded around an, on uh, an office LAN and played that way. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was a yeah, huge game back yeah, then. Yeah, I did that. But, uh, <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> uh, but the, this, you know, the single player is where the story has been around this version of Doom. Yes. And you get the arcade mode and you get all the. the there's cool a multiplayer mode. We couldn't, with the review copies we had, we couldn't get online. I mean, we got we online, tried, but no, yeah, nobody, nobody was there. There's nobody there. So that hasn't been unlocked. No. I am curious, and I'll probably uh, do a podcast about playing some Doom online and seeing, because they've unlocked all the, uh, the DLC and all the extras. Yeah, everything's of course, on there. That's all free with whatever version of Doom you have at this and point. And we, we have to talk about something else. Yeah. There's another version of Doom coming out, I yeah. think in another week's time. The Doom VR the game. The VR game. Yeah. I mean, motion sickness is going to be <laughs> like, you know, you can't win. I mean, there's so many different versions of Doom. Actually, you can win. Yeah. You got it on every single platform. Yes. You got it in VR. You got it on the Switch. It deserves it, man. This it is does. one of those Everybody games should play this game. that came out of nowhere. Nobody was expecting it to be this great. Not to be that great. You know, it was when I played it, I was like, okay, it's another shooter. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, I love this. Boom, boom, yeah, and, boom. I mean, know? Carmack had gone. He had gone to to uh, Oculus. He, yeah. the, the heart of Doom, one of the, the core, you know, tenants, the foundation of this franchise franchise was no longer there it was a new team it did and yep. they killed it they just crushed it Nailed with this it. you know super fun and accessible and satisfying shooter and it's excellent on whatever platform you get it yes you can play it better elsewhere but it's ridiculously cool still on the Switch. Yeah, I think it's really good, but still, you know, for the graphical overhaul of it, that yeah. it, it is not, it's not that great. Yeah. I'm not going to rate it that high, well, and it's, but it's a recommended game. And it's also a year old and, yeah, exactly. you know, uh, yeah, I think you can kind of, you can, it's fair to rate it a little le less than what the core game is worth. Yeah, based because on a few I would things. give I would give like a Doom running on a high end PC or something like that, yeah. like a nine point five. Yeah, absolutely. In that, in that zone. Yeah. But with this one, what are you going to give it? I, I'm giving it an eight. I think it's still a great alternative choice for Switch fans out there, but it's not as good as it can be. And you know what? I think eight's a really good number. Yeah. Uh, and I give it an eight for the portability factor, which is great. It's not the graphical beautiness that you're going to see in the PS4, the yeah. Xbox One X, yeah. or the PC, but it's really good. Absolutely.